U.S. President Joe Biden has announced plans to send medium-range rocket systems to Ukraine as defense forces struggle to withstand Russia's assault in Donbass. Top Ukrainian officials had long called on Washington to provide the high-tech weapons, which experts say will help bolster Ukraine's defensive capabilities. But the U.S. had held back from sending weapons that could be used to target positions on Russian soil. The rocket systems form part of a wider military aid package worth over 655 million euro. Speaking with NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg from Washington, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the weapons will help Ukraine to fend off Russian advances and keep a strong negotiating position. Just this morning, President Biden announced a significant new security assistance package to arm Ukraine with additional capabilities and advanced weaponry, precisely what they need to defend themselves against the ongoing Russian aggression. That includes more advanced rocket systems so that they can strike key targets on the battlefield in Ukraine from longer distances. This is a continuation of a strategy that began even before Russia's invasion. We moved quickly to send Ukraine significant amounts of weapons and ammunition so that they can repel Russia's aggression and, in turn, can be in the strongest possible position at any negotiating table that may emerge. Meanwhile, Russia has strongly condemned Biden's decision to send the heavy weapons system to Ukraine. Speaking in Saudi Arabia, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Kiev's demands for heavy weapons support were driving up tensions between Moscow and Washington. What the Kiev regime demands so categorically, in I would say a business like manner from its Western patrons already goes beyond all the limits of decency and diplomatic communication. And secondly, this is a direct provocation aimed at drawing the West into hostilities. From on this, I'd like to bring in Neil Melvin, Director of International Security Studies at the Royal United Services Institute in London. Welcome to the program and thanks for coming on. First of all, the missile system that Joe Biden has promised uh, to Ukraine, how does it work and what impact will it have on military operations? Hi, Stefan. Thanks for inviting me on the program. Uh, well, it's a very good question. I mean, at the moment, there's a fierce battle going on in Donbass in which the Ukrainian forces are really being outgunned because the Russians have a big advantage in artillery. So they can, they can hit the, Rus the Ukrainian forces, but the Ukrainian forces can't hit the Russian artillery. So what this... American system does is it levels the playing field. It allows the Ukrainians to fire rockets about uh, 80 kilometers, 50 miles from a highly mobile system, which as soon as you fired, you can then move it to another location. So it's difficult for the Russians to hit. Washington does not want Ukrainians to use uh, these missiles in an attack on Russian soil. What guarantees does Biden have that the Ukrainians uh, abide by this? Well, President Zelensky has said that, that he will make sure that doesn't happen. But the United States is also taking sort of technical measures uh, to, to make sure this is the case, because the system, which is called high mobility system, HIMARS, uh, you can load uh, different kinds of rockets into it. Some uh, long range ones could go for 300 kilometers. Now, the U.S. is not going to supply those. It's only going to supply ones that can go to a maximum of 70 to 80 kilometers. So that's already going to limit the ability of, of the Ukrainian forces to hit territory uh, w within Ukraine. And, and finally, um, will the nature of weapons will be the decisive factor of this war? Well, at the moment, as I mentioned, the Russians have the advantage on, on artillery. And of course, this is causing very high casualties amongst the Ukrainians, up to uh, uh, six to seven hundred casualties a day, a hundred deaths, so five to six hundred wounded. And much of this is artillery. So what this will do is, is tip the balance back towards the Ukrainians. Other countries are likely to come in with their own supplies. The United Kingdom has already said it will also send multiple uh, rocket systems to Ukraine. And we've also seen the other area where Ukraine, uh, Russia has advantage, which is in air power. And Germany is sending uh, anti-aircraft uh, anti systems. So gradually, Ukraine is balancing out all the advantages that Russia has on the battlefield with these external supplies.